Hi folks, welcome back. This is episode two in my little mini series on wood burning stoves. I'm gonna be making three different stoves. Each one is gonna have its own episode um, and I'm gonna be using recycled materials. If you saw the last video, you'll have seen me make this one here out of a Fax beer can. Um, they're a one litre beer can made from steel, so they're ideal for, for this sort of thing. Don't try and make them out of aluminium because they'll just melt. Um, I've used this and um, I thought I'd give you a little bit of feedback on it before I start on the next stove. Um, it's too tall, that's the main issue. It's not as stable as I would like, although it didn't fall over, you know, you can tell it's tall and thin. It's, it's you know, it's not going to be as stable as something that is, has a wider stance. Um, and I found that with the fire in that firebox there, I had to have the fire really hot to get that heat up to the top there. If it was lower, it would have been much more efficient. So in hindsight, if I was going to do that again, I would probably reduce it by at least a third. Um, you wouldn't have that rim around the top to give it strength, but I think it would still be strong enough. I also found that putting the pot directly on top of the stove like this, rather than on the trivet that I made, um, works just as well. The flames lick out of those holes and it, and it heated up the water fine. Um, so if I was doing it again, I probably wouldn't bother with the trivet either. But anyway, onto this week's stove. It's also gonna be cylindrical. It's gonna be much wider. It's gonna be shorter and it's gonna be made so that it can roll up. For stove two, I'm gonna need two more of these Fax beer cans. So step one is drink the beer, just uh, probably not before you start getting out tools. <laughs> um, I've got a load of rivets here. These are stainless steel rivets. Don't use Alley because again, they'll melt. I've got some inexpensive skewers from the supermarket and I've got some expanded mesh here. This is a plastering lath, you know, used to go on buildings before they're rendered um, and it's stainless steel, so it'll last really well. Tool-wise, I'm gonna to use much the same tools as I used last time because I've got them and it makes sense for me to use them, but you could use hand tools. I'm gonna to use my Dremel for cutting out. I'm gonna use my pillar drill behind me there with one of these stepped drill bits in um, and I'm gonna use a pop riveter. Although I'm using power tools and machinery, you could do this just using simple hand tools, like I said in the last video, um, if you can get your hands on some on some simple tools, a pair of tin snips or whatever for, for cutting the uh, the cans or a hacksaw or something, um, and even a hand drill or, a, or a, you know, a cordless drill or whatever for drilling the holes, that would do the job fine. I'm gonna use two of these cans and cut out panels from each one, which I'll then reattach um, to create the size, to create the, the diameter that I need. And I'm gonna make it so that the stove fits inside this billy can, so I need to cut it down to that height. Um, the stove will actually be bigger, have a bigger diameter than this billy can, but I'm gonna make it so that it, it rolls up and then just tucks away in there for, for storage and transportation. Holes are marked out and ready to drill for the big holes. Um, and I'm gonna use my pillar drill over there and that step drill bit to, to drill those while the can is whole. So it doesn't uh, squash the can and distort it while I'm applying pressure with the drill. Um, I've also marked out the, the feed hole. Um, there's gonna be an opening uh, on one side of this stove so that you can feed wood in without having to take your pot off the top. Um, you can just poke your sticks through that little hole there. Um, there are gonna be some more holes I'll need to drill later, some smaller ones. Um, but I'm not sure exactly where they're gonna go yet. I need to get these drilled and cut out and partially assembled to see where I need to, where I need to drill those holes, um, but that'll become clear a little bit later on. drilled all my holes. I drilled one hole where I shouldn't have done, <laughs> right there. This is where I was gonna have the, the join. Um, so there shouldn't have been a hole there, but I'm just gonna cut that slightly to one side there. Um, and hopefully that'll just, um, that'll be hidden up. You'll see what I mean when I do that in a bit. So uh, that is done. I'm gonna now 
cut the top off, cut it along the bottom here. Um, I'm gonna use a can opener to do that. I've got one of those can openers that cuts the side. So that'll be the neatest way of doing that. This one up here, I'll have to just cut with my Dremel really carefully along that line. And then I'll cut it along there and along here. And then those two pieces, when they're opened up, will come together and form a bigger, a bigger cylinder. So that is the basic stove shape. Um, as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the old one and it's more squat. Um, for it to be collapsible, um, I've had to make one side so that you can undo it. And to do that, I've just used um, bolts and uh, little wing nuts there so you, can, so you can undo them. It works, you know, it's not ideal. You could lose the bolts and you could lose the, um, the wing nuts, sure, but you could always replace them. Um, now, I could have used a bigger can for this, obviously. I could have used a, like a large coffee can or something like that. And uh, it would have saved having to do all of this, but I didn't have one. Um, and the whole point of this was to use, you know, stuff that I already had that was just gonna get chucked out anyway. And I had those beer cans. So I really was determined to use them, <laughs> which is why it's, um, you know, taken quite a bit of effort to, to get to this stage. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to create a base. Um, I'm going to use that mesh that I showed you earlier. I'm just going to literally lay this on it, draw around it, cut it out, and then I'm going to drill some more holes that I can put some skewers through. And those skewers, when they're through those holes, will hold that mesh in place and form a, form a, a base. Um, I can then use a couple more of the skewers just to go through these existing holes, um, and that will support whatever pot I put in there.
Well, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to win any awards for aesthetics, that's for sure. It is crude, but then again, it's only made from a couple of beer cans, so I wasn't really expecting too much. It should work though, it should work pretty well. Uh, it's got a good opening here for feeding wood in. Um, it's got loads of holes, so there should be plenty of airflow. There's holes all the, round, all the way around the bottom there, so air can get underneath, and then that mesh will allow the air to come underneath the fire and allow it to burn well. Um, I've got a couple more skewers here, and you can literally just poke them through whichever holes you want in the top there, and um, that will act as a pot support for your, uh, for your cooking pot in the top, no matter what size pot you've got. You know, you can just have them closer together and you know, it will take a smaller pot on the top there. I'm not gonna be able to test this out right now because it's pitch black outside. It's evening now, um, but I'm going on a, a canoe trip tomorrow with, with Ginge. Really looking forward to it. Um, and I think I'm gonna take this with me. And uh, whether I use it as my main stove, I have got another stove which I've already packed, but I think I'm gonna take this and at least give it a burn in. Um, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a little bit of, uh, wizardry and teleport that back to the end of this video um, and then you'll be able to see it uh, you know burnt, burnt in. Um, it's obviously got all the paint and everything on it. I'm, I'm never too fussed about that. That all comes off in the first burn. So there you go. That is stove number two. Uh, a bit safer to use I'm sure because it's squatter. It's packable. You know it rolls up and fits in my billy can and it weighs nothing. I haven't got my scales out here but I mean there's nothing to it. It's just a couple of old beer cans and a bit of mesh. Yeah, amazing what you can make out of a load of old rubbish. <laughs> um, I will get around to my third and final uh, stove video in a few weeks time. Uh, bear with me on that one. I've got some other bits and pieces I need to do in the meantime, um, but I'm quite excited about that. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time um, and something quite different to these last two stove videos. So look out for that video then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.